Hello, welcome to Dr. V Space. Today, we are going to be talking about what you can do to boost your immune system in order to resist or fight diseases, including the novel coronavirus. But before we get into that, let us take a minute to acknowledge and appreciate all the frontline staff who put their lives on the line on a daily basis to care for patients. We are talking about nurses, we're talking about doctors, and let's not forget about the janitors who clean daily, putting their lives and the lives of their families at risk. Let's not also forget about those who work behind the scenes, all the experts, the virologists, who are working day in and day out, trying to find as much information, to gather as much information about this disease, the coronavirus. We do appreciate all the work that everyone is putting in, the policy makers, everyone. We appreciate all the efforts. Our hearts go out to the families that have lost someone from this outbreak, the novel coronavirus. Once again, many thanks to all the healthcare workers who put their lives on the line to take care of patients on a daily basis. A lot of us have flicked the switch on fear, panic, worry. We worry because this is a new virus and the experts are learning along. The data surrounding the spread of this virus is limited. And so people worry about getting infected and what is going to happen to them. But no amount of worry is going to help to develop the treatment for the virus. No amount of fear is going to change the situation. So what do we have to do? We need to flick the switch off. Once we overcome fear, we could turn that energy to the quest for information on what we could do to protect ourselves, to protect you and I from this virus. In order to protect ourselves from this virus, we've been asked to avoid touching our faces. We've been asked to wash our hands with soap and water, to avoid big crowds like 50 plus people. But today, I want us to add something to the information that has been shared so far. I want us to boost our immune systems, to resist or fight diseases such as the flu, the cold, the novel coronavirus, and other diseases and other outbreaks to come. Let's start first by looking at immune system. What is your immune system? And look at your immune system as your soldiers. Soldiers at war, think about it. Soldiers at war, at war ready to fight. Your immune system is your body's defense against disease causing microorganisms. As you age, as we all age, our immune response capability reduces, which in turn leads to more infections. So we have to boost our immune systems. We have to make our immune system strong enough to fight off infections. What are some of the things that I am encouraging you and I to do, especially during this time when we are fighting an outbreak? the novel coronavirus outbreak. I encourage all of us to eat immune-boosting diets, 
full of vitamins and minerals. I'm talking about lots of fruits and vegetables. Let's look at some of the fruits that you can pile on in order to boost your immune system. Citrus fruits, for example, are packed with vitamin C. And what does vitamin C do? Vitamin C helps to increase your white blood cell count, which is key in fighting off infections. Citrus fruits includes things like lemon, oranges. What are some of the vegetables that we could use to boost our immune system? Cruciferous vegetables. I think about things like cauliflower, think about things like broccoli, Brussels sprout. Let's look at bro uh, uh, broccoli, for example. Broccoli is packed with vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. And these are all vitamins that can boost your immune system and help you to fight off infections. Spinach is loaded with vitamin C, folate, which could all help to increase the infection fighting ability of our immune systems. We also have nuts. We have seeds. All the plant-based food packed with nutrients. That's what we should be consuming. In addition to washing your hands with soap and water, not touching your face, practicing social distancing, I am recommending that each of us should drink at least one cup of smoothie per day. I am going to be showing you how to do a quick smoothie. And I encourage each of us to wake up in the morning and have a smoothie as our first meal and be ready to fight any disease, including the coronavirus. In a minute, I'm going to show you how to prepare smoothie with nutrient dense food, plant based food. No added sugar. We want to get our immune system strong and ready to fight off infections. Does this mean that if you consume a, a cup of smoothie each morning, you would not get sick? Does that mean the coronavirus will not infect you even if you come in contact with it? No. That's not the message today. The message today is to prepare yourself, boost your immune system to be able to fight diseases. What this means is that there are some diseases that you will come in contact with, but your immune system is going to fight them off and you're not going to get sick. There are other diseases that you will come in contact with. Your immune system is going to fight those diseases and the recovery time is going to be shorter than if your immune system wasn't strong enough. So there is no guarantee. If there was guarantee in this life, all the billionaires would have been able to live eternally. So what I am encouraging all of us to do today is to do our part. In addition to all what the World Health Organization is asking us to do, washing our hands, not touching our faces, social distancing, um, quarantine, and self-isolation, we also have to boost our immune systems to fight off infections. And so let me take you to my kitchen where I will be showing you how to make quick smoothie it only takes you about five minutes to make a smoothie and have a cup in the morning and get your body ready for the day's activities. Let's go. So let's begin 
the process of making our smoothie. What is so nice about this meal is that it is quick. If you have your stuff well prepared in advance, it's probably gonna take you like two to five minutes to get everything um, ready. So what you need, you need a blender, you need fruits, you need vegetables, and we have flax seeds for our protein, plant-based protein. We have, if you prefer to have almond milk, um, what I recommend is unsweetened almond milk with zero grams of sugar, zero. So you shouldn't be consuming excess added sugar. We can get all the sugar from our fruits. So let's start off by getting two handfuls of vegetable. So we're doing spinach. And remember, I said in the video that spinach is loaded with vitamin C, folate, have banana and I'm gonna be adding in some ginger ginger has anti-inflammatory properties so if you're suffering from a cold and you have a sore throat, that can help with lower the inflammation. Flax seed, we're gonna get a one teaspoon. And Water, I'm gonna get half. Half. half, half cup, and with our milk, almond milk, unsweetened, no added sugars. We're going to have another half a cup. ready to blend. Voila, your green smoothie is ready for consumption.
The next thing that I'm going to encourage each and every one of us to do to boost our immune systems is to exercise. Yes, exercise can help to boost your immune system. Exercise can also help you to protect and prevent cancer. So I'm encouraging all of us to start exercising and reap the benefits associated with getting active. You can check out my workout videos. I have a lot of videos online. Go on Dr. V space and check out my exercise videos and exercise with me Mondays through Fridays. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we have to stop worrying. We have to stop panicking. We have to switch off fear and start living, loving, caring for one another. And the way you care for one another during this time is to protect yourself from the virus. So if you're able to stop worrying, then there is a high chance that you'll be able to get enough rest. If you're able to get enough rest, you'll be able to sleep. And as you all know, I encourage each and every one of us to get at least eight hours of sleep. Your body needs to repair and restore. I also encourage each and every one of us to drink lots of water. If you've watched my videos before, I encourage us to drink at least two liters of water. And I encourage all of us to get a bottle of water, carry a bottle of water everywhere you go. This is to protect us from dehydration. We've all been told that one of the best ways to protect ourselves from the coronavirus is to wash our hands. But do we actually know how to wash our hands? With kids, I encourage all of us to start off by trimming off their nails because a lot of germs settle underneath the nail. And when the kids go to wash their, their, their hands, it's challenging for them to get under the nails underneath the knees to take out all the dirt so I encourage us to start off by cutting trimming the nails of our kids this will help them to do proper washing of the hands and to protect themselves from this virus for adults especially women I encourage everyone with long nails to not just wash your hands with soap and water, but go underneath the nails, wash off all the dirt, take some time, spend some time to clean everything, all the germs, take out all the dirt underneath the nail in order to protect yourself from the coronavirus. What's my message today? Do what you can do to boost your immune system because as we age, our immune response capability reduces, which means you're more prone to infections. As the experts continue to do their research to combat this virus, let us all continue to do our part by washing our hands with soap and water, using hand sanitizers, avoid touching our faces, practicing social distancing, and boosting our immune systems. When we do our part and we successfully protect ourselves, we are protecting our community. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you tomorrow for our exercise routines. Love you. Peace out.